Hello, my brothers and sisters. Carrie Green here again. Welcome back to another Pray Together episode. I say pray together because that's really what I envision for these episodes is that you and I are praying together. When I am praying, you're joining with me. You are agreeing in your heart for the outcome that we're asking for. And of course, we aren't perfect in knowledge. We don't know exactly what to ask for all the time. But the book of Romans chapter 8 teaches us that when we don't know what to pray, the Spirit of God who dwells within us intercedes for us. And it describes it as groanings too deep for words that he expresses to the Father. And I don't know about you, but I've had those times when I just have this groaning, this, this ache inside of me, wanting to express something to God, and I just don't know how to say it. The Holy Spirit comes into his position of authority at that point and intercedes for us. And the same goes for prayers that we are praying and we feel like we're stumbling over our words. We don't have the right words, but we're just doing our best. The Holy Spirit is the one we can trust to take that request to the Father and pray it to deliver it to him the way it should be delivered, expressing the desire of our heart. And as children of God, like children of a good parent, we are able and we are privileged to come into the presence of the Father. So I want to encourage you as you pray for these requests and as you pray for things in your own personal life, go with confidence, go with conviction that God is listening to your prayers because of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you and that he will answer according to his perfect will. All right, today we have a number of requests from male and female and some anonymous requests as well. Many situations, many heavy burdens. I ask you, let's do this service to our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ by lifting up their concerns to the Father. Lord, we begin with a prayer request from Roseanne, who is asking us to pray for a healthy and normal delivery for the baby. I don't know if this is Roseanne who is pregnant or someone else, but Lord, we do ask that you would bring about a healthy delivery for this child, that you would protect the mother's health, you would protect the child's health, that there would be no complications that cause birth defects or cause any kind of malady for the mother. Lord, we're asking as well that while they're in a medical facility, I'm assuming that's where it's going to happen, or perhaps it could happen in a home. Lord, I pray that you would protect both mother and child from infections, from bacteria, from the things that can happen during a medical procedure like this that would cause ill health later on. Father, please shelter Roseanne, shelter this person who's having the child. If it's not Roseanne, shelter this baby, Lord. We know you have knit this child together in its mother's womb. And we ask you for just the wonderful miracle and blessing of a great, healthy start to life. Lord, we pray for Karen and with Karen for a number of things here relating to her and her family. She's asking us to pray that her dad, her mom, her two brothers, and herself will feel God's presence in their lives and that you would become real to them, that they would all find their identity in Jesus. Amen, Lord. Amen. We all need this sort of a perspective and we need this sort of a foundational root to our lives, Lord, that we would be able to walk in the truth of who you've made us to be as forgiven sons and daughters of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I ask that you would, through that connection, Make your presence known to us. Make your presence known to Karen and her family, Lord, in these ways that she's asking. Enable them to see you, to sense you, to know your presence, that it's just undeniable. And as a response, relinquish all of their lives to you, Lord. She's asking that you would fill her family with the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Fill them up to capacity. Root out any sin or bitterness or resistance in their lives that would keep him from having his way. And Lord Jesus, please bless them as a sign of your love for them. Bring your great provision to them in every way that they need. Lord, I ask that you would enable them to sense your light shining on them so that they can give your light to people around them who are in need of hope and are in need of help, that they'd be able to introduce Jesus to those people. And that you would guide them, Lord, in seeing your will for their lives as they walk through their day-to-day -day existence, Lord. Show them in every step, in that moment, what your will is. 
that they can act in obedience and thereby please you and bring about great glory to your name. Father, we have an anonymous request from our brother who is concerned for his teenage daughter. He says she has been lying to them and deceiving them, them being her parents, by sneaking out of the house. Uh, we don't know if this is happening evening, night time, whatever. We don't, we don't understand the details, Lord, but we know that this kind of deceit and lying is not godly. It is not uh, beneficial to her as a, as a young person. She carries with her just by default a, a certain level of foolishness and influence from the world that is not healthy. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit, through his power, through the grace that you manifest in, in extending your help to all of us, would reach into her life and would transform her from the inside out, Lord. We know that there's likely circumstances that have, that have caused her to think the way that she thinks. There are things that have happened that have created hurts in her heart, and she's acting out of those things. But Lord, we ask that you would deliver her from those things, that you would bring healing, you would bring transformation, you would relieve her from her insecurities that drive her to seek her meaning and her, her, her purpose and, and fulfillment in these illicit things that she's doing through deceit. Lord, we ask that you would do that in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that the truth would come out about her behavior, that it would become apparent that she can't deny it, that she cannot be hiding in the shadows anymore, and that through that revelation of the truth, help could come that her parents could respond in love and support her in restoring her, Lord, to the place in the home she is as a beloved daughter, and that she would sense a love and a, a closeness and a, and a care in her family that she's not experienced to this point. Lord, we pray as well in this entire situation that there is no sense or, or reality to any kind of victimization that she's suffering or any harm that's coming to her. Lord, we ask that you would turn her heart of stone to a heart of flesh as Ezekiel promises happens through your new covenant. We pray that would happen in her life, Lord. Cause the words and lives and teaching of her parents to resonate with her and to draw her to a place of repentance. Lord, Nicole asks us to continue praying for her regarding her studies and her uh, application to different residency programs. She says that they are submitting their rank lists in January, and she is hoping for a high ranking so that she can get matched with a residency program during this cycle. And she won't find out until March of 2022. Lord, I pray that you would lead her in her career to serve you with these skills and with this education that you provided for her in a way that brings great glory to yourself. I think of the many physicians throughout history who are believers in Christ, who have been a great vessel of healing and of hope and of inspiration through the power of your Holy Spirit. I pray Nicole could be one of those people, Lord, and that you would begin her medical career by placing her in a residency where, first of all, she can learn the things you have for her to learn. But Lord, secondly, she can be the light you've appointed her to be in those particular circumstances. Lord, she says her top choice is one that she really would love to, to serve at and that they've expressed that they liked her. Lord, I ask that you would bring that about. She's also asking us to pray for a circumstance where a, she is experiencing what she's calling a broken heart by a relationship that didn't work out. She's not exactly sure what happened. And Lord, she's hoping that the relationship can be renewed. Father, I pray that first of all, you would put Nicole's focus on you first and foremost, that she would find her security in you. She would find her rest and her healing in you. And Lord, that no person would ever take that place. You, in your word, you call that idolatry when anything takes your place. So I pray that you would preserve her from that error. And Lord, that you would fill her with a sense of your presence and your pleasure in her as your daughter. And Lord, that if this relationship is to be renewed, that you would do it in your good time and you give Nicole the patience to wait on that and to trust you with that, that she would not be pushing, she would not be prying, trying to make things happen, but rather she would take her hands off of it and watch you work. Lord, Nicole is also asking us to pray for her cousin who recently bought his first home and he's worried about the safety of the house and the protection of the house. 
it's a lot of responsibility that he's taken on and tornadoes have been coming through the area in the past and she wants them to be stay safe. She also wants her cousin not to be worried. Father, we ask that you would show yourself to be present in this circumstance so that her cousin can recognize your role in this whole thing. You're the provider of the home. You're actually the owner of the home. You're the one who determines its status of safety or not. You're the one who controls tornadoes. You're the one who controls everything related to this cousin's life. We pray that you would give him or her a greater sense of your presence and your person, that he would be able to draw near to you in faith, and that his worries would dissipate in light of your grandeur and your glory. Kristen asks us to pray for her family. She says, I'm going to quote here because it's a little awkward. I'm not exactly sure what it's saying, but it says, we are a paramedic and a nurse and have been displaced from our home with our three kids for about six months due to a sewage backup. And the insurance company is causing a stall. We need prayers to get back in our home. So it sounds like she and her husband are one of them a paramedic, one of them a nurse father. And first off, they're just, they have kids. They have a great responsibility there as the leaders of their home to be nurturing and, and caring for those children, father. And they've been out of their home. I assume they're staying with family or in an apartment, Lord, due to this repair. We pray first off that you give them the strength they need. You give them the endurance that a situation like this requires. Pray that their children would be submissive and obedient and and a blessing to them during this time instead of a, a difficulty or a burden, Father, that you would give that grace to them. We pray, too, that you would resolve things with this sewage backup. And mostly it sounds like with the insurance company. Lord, that you would work out the details. You would give them the finances that they need from the insurance they've paid for to get this home repaired and get them back in their home. Lord, we ask for that provision in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up our sister Rosa to you, who is asking for clarity and wisdom as to where she's supposed to be right now. She says that being 54 years old, she feels worn out by the toxic people around her, and many of them call themselves Christians. Lord, she says their actions don't match what they say they believe, and she's feeling spiritual attacks while she's around them and and working, Lord. She's drained, and she's also struggling with some deep financial debt. Lord, I pray for Rosa that you give her a sense of your presence, and you would bring around her solid and healthy and trustworthy Christian friends who truly live out their faith and who truly are committed to honoring you in everything they do, including their relationships. Lord, so that she can be supported in her faith and she can be encouraged in her faith. I pray that day to day, Lord, you would guide her into your presence through dedicated time in your word and dedicated time in prayer that her life can be oriented around you and strengthened by your presence, that she would be able to withstand spiritual attack and even through the authority of Christ to command them away because of your authority uh, purchased for her at the cross, Lord. I ask too that you would bring relief to this financial debt. I know what it's like to be in debt. I know the difficulty it can be and the overshadowing burden that can rest on you, Lord. She says there's no peace in her home because of the financial situation, Lord. I ask that you would provide abundantly, not only to pay off the debt, but to give a sense of your provision that is consistent and that provides faith in you that you will provide, Lord. That it's not the paychecks and it's not the jobs that provide the security, but it's a sense of knowing you are their provider and that you have always taken care of them and you will continue to do so. Rosa says she does not want to lose her faith in you because she needs you so desperately. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen her faith. You would guide her to do what only she can do in putting herself in a position to strengthen that faith. And Lord, that you would do your part in bringing about great deliverance for her in these areas. Lord, Carmen is asking us to pray regarding her daughter who is missing in a different state from where she lives. This daughter suffers from epilepsy and schizophrenia and is homeless 
and they lost contact with her about five months ago. Lord, we join with Carmen and with her family in praying for this dear daughter. We ask first off for her protection, Lord, that you would silence the voices in her head that her schizophrenia could cause and enable the family to locate her. Lord, I pray that you would bring great healing to this daughter, wherever she is, Lord. Maybe she's encountering someone who is walking closely with you, Lord. I pray you'd bring that person into her life and you'd enable her to receive a touch of your healing through that interaction. Lord, I ask that you would bring about the great um, needs that she has to be met. And Lord, we ask that you would strengthen the faith of Carmen as she is dealing with this burden of her missing daughter, Lord. Strengthen her faith. Give her peace when negative thoughts come to her mind. Give her the ability to rest in you even when she doesn't know what's happening with her daughter. Lord, I ask also, along with Carmen, that you would give her the wisdom to encourage her 14-year-old granddaughter not to lose faith. I don't know what the circumstance is that is, is causing this concern, but Lord, she says she wants her granddaughter to recognize that you are in control and will bring this daughter back home one day. It sounds like this might be her granddaughter's mother that is missing. Lord, I just ask you, Lord, to bring a sense of your peace and your presence to this home. Reveal yourself in greater ways that their security and their trust and their hope can be found in you and you alone. Lisa is asking us to pray for, uh, she says, the marriage of Ron and Lisa is on the brink of divorce. I don't know if it's this Lisa whose marriage we're talking about, Lord, but I know that you understand the details. She's asking that this marriage will be strong enough to endure the stronghold and spiritual warfare of pornography. Lord, that they will be able to make it through to the other side and come out stronger. Lord, I ask that you would bring about that deliverance. I know pornography can be a painful and powerful hold on people. Lord, please break the man free in Jesus' name. Bring deep conviction and repentance to his heart that will turn him away, Lord. Guide him to resources that can help him understand what's going on in his own soul. And to be able to break free because he makes you his treasure more so than any addiction and any pleasure he receives from this habit. Lord, that you would break him free and as a result, bring about the beginnings of the path of restoration for his marriage. Lord, I do ask that this marriage would come out stronger. I ask that they would come out knowing how to delight in each other, how to be obedient to the commands of scripture, that they delight in each other. Lord, that's, a, that's an emotion. Delight is an emotion. And you command us to an emotion. And so it must be true that that's possible for us to do. And so, Lord, I ask you to enable this man and woman to delight in each other, to, to carry that out toward each other, and by that bring about great healing and great connection in a way that strengthens their marriage and brings the peace and the joy in their lives that they need. And Lord, we pray for someone Lisa mentions here, Stephen, to have peace and joy in his life and that he will grow in the love of Christ Jesus. Amen, Lord. We pray whatever's going on in Stephen's life, you would bring that about. You would cause him to see you. You would cause him to adore you and be drawn to you. Lord, the Christmas season reminds me of that song, Oh, come, let us adore him. I pray that that would be true for Stephen this Christmas season, Lord. Show him your grandeur and your splendor. And enable him to just fall in love with you greater than anything else in his life. Rosemary is asking us to pray with her for your intervention in her family. That there would be love, joy, peace, and forgiveness abounding. Lord, whatever the circumstance, I pray that you would bring those things about in the family, Lord. There are all kinds of things that can cause conflict and division and strife. I ask that by your Holy Spirit, you would overcome them all. You would bring about repentance where needed. You would bring about confession where needed. You'd bring about forgiveness as needed. Lord, that you would bring about the things that will bring healing in this family. Only you know what that is. Lord, we also pray for Rosemary regarding understanding. She says she just needs understanding, Lord. Whatever contexts she's addressing or thinking of, Lord, please start turning the lights on and bring about understanding in those areas. She's also praying for her daughter, She doesn't give any details, so Lord, we lift up this young woman to you. 
We ask you to bring about your best for her and your will in her life. She's also asking us to pray for financial stability in their family. She is dependent on her daughter, she says, and she feels like her daughter is doing it out of obligation rather than out of joy and out of desire to help. And it's a complicated situation. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would bring about proper motives, proper care for the people involved. And Lord, that you bring about harmony in this home. Rosemary says there are some of her children who never talk to her and she's praying for restoration and healing in those relationships. Lord, I ask too that you would bring that about. She is asking us too to pray for Sheila, who uh, is one of her children, that she would have open doors for employment, for a breakthrough in their business and for loving relationships in their family. Lord, I ask that you do all these things as Rosemary is asking, Lord, that you would bring about provision of jobs, you'd bring about clarity in relationships, Lord, and that you would bring about healing where needed. Uh, Rosemary is finally asking us to pray for her regarding a dating relationship that she has entered into. She's asking for your love to prevail. Lord, we ask that you would do that in Jesus' name, that you give her wisdom about the man that she's involved with, and that you would, you would uh, enable them to walk in integrity and walk in a way together that honors you. Lord, she's asking us to pray for her son, Edwin, and Nicole. Her son, it sounds like Nicole is a daughter, perhaps, and, and for their college tuition. And Lord, that there would be uh, adequate funds for what they need in order to get the education that you want them to do. And Lord, if this is not the path you want them to follow, Lord. Use the lack of funds to direct them to the place you do want them to go. Lord, we ask that you would bring all these things about in Rosemary's situation in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up our sister Caroline, who is asking us to pray for her regarding a burglary that happened. Her house was broken into, and her laptop and a hard drive and flash drive were taken and are the most painful losses to her. Lord, I could understand that. My entire business, my entire life depends on my computer in a way. Um, Lord, I ask that first off, you would teach her to be dependent on you and not on the things. Pray that you would teach her to be uh, resting in you, trusting you with this event. This didn't happen outside your control. And this did not happen by surprise. You knew this was uh, going to happen. In fact, you were part of it happening because you control all things. And so, Lord, we ask you to give Caroline a perspective that enables her to rest in you and to rest in you for the sake of receiving your peace as she tries to figure out a way forward without these resources that were so important to her. Lord, I ask that you would provide, that you'd bring uh, a solution and a, and a discovery of the person who did this and even retrieve her property, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, Kelly is asking us to pray for her husband who is going through spiritual warfare and it's having a ripple effect in their family. She says he has the traits of a narcissist, so their relationship of 20 years is becoming more toxic every day. She's been asking you to change him, but is not seeing the change. In fact, he seems to be getting worse. Lord, to me, that is a sign that there is a resistance going on either from her husband himself or from the, the evil powers that have led him down this path, Lord, we ask that you would break through the resistance, that you would triumph as the victor and the healer in this situation, that you would bring about a sense of conviction about his behavior and his tendencies to get his needs met through insisting others pay attention to him and serve him, Lord. We ask that you would break through in Jesus' name that you give Kelly the strength she needs as she waits on you to answer, that she would not grow weary in doing this good of praying for him and seeking his good, Lord. We pray that you bring about this healing also on behalf of their three children, that you provide them a stable home and happy parents, Lord. I ask that you would bring about all of the healing needed in this family, overcome sadness, overcome depression, Lord, overcome the scars of the past, when it perhaps is still being thrown up in front of people day after day. Lord, this relationship, this family needs you more than ever. Lord, I pray that you would break through, that you would convict the hearts of your people, man and wife, that you would bring about a change 
and guidance and strength through this situation. Lord, we come alongside our brother Ethan as he and his wife are giving you praise for the blessing that you gave an amazing Christmas bonus to them. And it's come in handy as they've had added expenses through uh, their in vitro fertilization process that they've been a part of. Lord, we ask that you would do that, that you would you would just continue to provide. Thank you so much for the blessing of this bonus, Lord. Ethan is asking us to pray uh, with them regarding uh, an event that's coming up on Monday. I don't know if that was this past Monday. Uh, it says Monday the 13th. So yes, Lord, this did happen already. It was a transfer of embryos that were happening as part of the IVF process. And Lord, they're asking that this miracle of life that they're seeking to be a part of here through this medical procedure would indeed come about, Lord. We ask that you would cause it to be successful and they won't know until Tuesday the 21st. So Lord, enable them to have grace and peace as they trust you in the waiting. Um, We ask that you would bring it about Uh, in a way that brings them increased faith, that brings them a greater reliance on you. Lord, that takes their eyes off of the procedure and onto you as the great physician, Lord. We ask that you would bring them the blessing of a child through this process. And Lord, Ethan also wants to praise you for giving him a wife who has the courage to start this process. And he thanks you, Lord, for allowing this journey uh, to bring them together more than ever and to show him how strong and amazing his wife is. Lord, I know firsthand the blessing of a great wife. I know what a, I don't know what a failure I am sometimes, Lord, to uh, appreciate her and care for her as I should. I pray you would strengthen Ethan and give him eyes to see his wife in the areas where she has need, in the areas where she needs his gentleness and his words and his care and his love, and that he'd be able to give those things unreserved consistently and without fail, Lord, that you would enable him to be the blessing and the source of encouragement his wife needs that you've appointed him to be. Lord, we come alongside Micah, who is asking us to pray for his family and especially his fiance Lydia. They've been going through a dark valley uh, full of trials and spiritual attacks, he says. And he wants us to pray that your will will prevail and Satan will be rebuked. Lord, they want to reach the end of this season soon and feel your presence and your peace, Lord. I understand the ominous feeling of a dark time that you're going through. And Lord, I know the the feeling of spiritual attack. I ask, Lord, that you would remind Micah, you would remind the believers in Christ who are in this situation, including his fiance, that you have all authority over Satan. Satan is not doing anything you have not allowed, Lord. He cannot prevail. He cannot overcome. And your will will prevail. Lord, we ask that you give them that kind of confidence. You give them that kind of security and stability that it would banish fear. It would banish anxiety and doubt. And Lord, that you would be glorified through their faith. And that simply by their trust, the effects of Satan's attacks would be diminished. Lord, enable them to come through this dark season shining, radiant with your glory and radiant with your strength. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord, we have an anonymous request, someone who is asking us to pray regarding a long uphill battle they are facing. And they know that they don't have to do it alone because you're with them, Lord. I am so glad to hear that. And I ask, Lord, that you'd increase that faith even more for the journey ahead. This person says they have 100% dedicated their life to you and are trying to have faith and stay on the right track. But the devil is trying to do everything he can to keep them going in the wrong direction. Lord, I pray that you would break this person free of any influence the devil has. And again, remind them of your victory on the cross, that Satan has no hold on them, that they don't have to be afraid. They don't have to be hesitant or or. Uh, anxious about the situation that they face because you are with them and Satan cannot touch them apart from your will, Lord. This person says they have horrible nightmares at night for the past two weeks. They're waking them up in a state of panic and there's anxiety and depression involved, Lord. I pray you would deliver this person, enable them to do things as they go to bed that would set their mind in a good place before they sleep. 
Lord, listening to scripture or praise music or, or just turning off the computer, the internet, the phone, the TV, all those things that could keep their mind distracted from the realities of your presence in their life. Lord, enable this person to do what they need to do to put themselves in a place of peace before they go to sleep. And Lord, this person also says uh, their self-confidence needs a lot of work. Uh, she's been a single mom for almost 13 years. And every holiday, it just brings out her depression, Lord. I know this must be a difficult place to be as a single mom. Lord, I ask that in the times of loneliness, as her son is away visiting his dad and other family is out of state, she winds up doing things by herself, Lord. I, I pray that you would bring her some sort of comfort this year, that you are with her. Just a reality of your presence, Lord. Bring it about in Jesus' name. Give her a sense of, of connection to you that is real and sustaining, Lord. And do it through your word. Do it through the encouragement of others. Do it through teaching from your scriptures that she's able to hear, Lord. Encourage her heart this year in those mysterious ways that only you can do. She says also her health has taken a bad turn this season. And she barely has the energy to get through her work day anymore. Lord, I ask that you would bring about relief from the things that she's experiencing. Give her a sense of your presence, that she can overcome the allergies, the disorders, the, the physical things that are affecting her bodily. And Lord, that you would liberate her to know you in a deeper way through all of these things. Lord Estefani is asking us to pray for her regarding financial guidance during the holiday season. Lord, we ask that you would enable Estefani to make the right decisions about the gifts that she purchases, or if there are no gifts to be purchased at all. Lord, you just guide her in the right paths, guide her in the decisions to make, and guide her in paying of bills and dealing with creditors and whatever is on the radar. Lord, I ask that you would be present and you would lend your wisdom to Estefani as she seeks to do your will with her finances. Lord, Andrea is asking us to pray for her regarding uh, this four years of infertility that she's undergone, but she's grateful that it has brought her closer to you and that you have taught she and her husband many, many things. Lord, she's had many medical procedures. She's had many things like miscarriage take on and they are moving toward in vitro fertilization, Lord. And she's praying for the whole process that there would be a healthy pregnancy and a baby that, the, that she says could complete their family. They have a six-year-old boy who is so excited to be a big brother, Lord. But she also, I love this, she also is just humbling her heart and saying, if it's not your will for them to be parents again, that you would give her the grace to accept that and to live a pur purposeful life uh, regardless, Lord. And there is so much purpose in her life. I can just see it from her description, Lord. She's married. She has a child. She has the responsibilities of wife and mother that are so pivotal and so crucial in the world. Lord, her son will be shaped by her influence. Her husband will be encouraged to accomplish the tasks that you have appointed him to through her encouragement and her support. Lord, there's so much her, her life is called to. I pray that you give her a greater vision for that so that whether there's a new child or not, she would be able to rest in you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for Andrea's faith and ask you to encourage it. Lord, we come alongside another anonymous friend here who is asking us to pray for them as they've gotten news that there's a $107 increase in their rent coming up in January. This person is working a minimum wage job and has no idea how they're going to be able to pay this from month to month. Lord, this person is confident that you will get them through. But right now, there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry about the finances, Lord. Not to make this simplistic or trivial. That's not my intent at all. But Lord, I want you to teach this person how to set their mind on you as Yahweh Jireh, the, her provider. Lord, that you would grant a sense of peace that comes from knowing you are the one on the hook to pay the rent. You're the one on the hook to provide adequately and that even things like mathematics work only because you have set them up to work. And Lord, that 
as has been the case in my life many times, you can cause the income to stretch in ways that just don't make sense. So the bills are paid, groceries are bought, houses are kept, you know, the roof's kept over our head. But at the same time, the math just doesn't make sense. And Lord, we ask that you do that for this person. Show yourself to be mighty and miraculous for this sister in Jesus' name. Lord Catherine is coming to us with a praise. She is thankful that you've allowed her to move to Amarillo a couple of months after returning from her military deployment. And she's blessed financially so that her sister and her two boys can live with her and not have to be in a place of need or worry. Lord, I am thankful for those things too. You provide in so many amazing ways, Lord. I ask that you would just continue to well up gratitude in Catherine's heart and that she would attribute all of her blessing to you as she's doing now. Lord, she's asking us to pray for patience and wisdom. Her new boss doesn't treat the people that work there as people. He calls them bodies. He actually uses that phrase, Lord. I I pray that his eyes would be open and his heart would soften and he would realize that this great group of people who work hard for him could be getting burned out, Lord. Teach him how to care for his team, how to care for his employees and thereby Uh, equip them to be more enthusiastic and more zealous in their work. Lord, I also ask that he would turn his eyes to you. He would learn how to rely on you. He would learn the place of submission to you and be a humble servant leader as you are guiding him, Lord. Uh, We are also being asked by Catherine to pray for her direct supervisor, to be able to keep a level head, uh, not to continue and push pushing and motivating people in wrong ways, Lord, but that he would be able to have a calm demeanor, Lord. She's also asking us to pray for her friend, Phil, who finds his, who she is asking will find his way to Jesus again and back to church. She wants to be a tool that you use to help these people see how wonderful the Savior is, Lord. Amen. Amen. I pray that Catherine would be used of you in those mighty ways, even as she's not aware of how you're doing it, Lord, that you would make it so. She's asking us to pray for her sister, Chris, that she will find a job where she feels happy and that benefits her and her children, and that her attorney will be able to find a way to help her get her daughter back. I don't know the circumstance, but Lord, I pray that you would just provide everything needed for Chris at this time. And as Chris, uh, as Uh, Catherine is asking us to pray as well that most of all, Chris will find her salvation in Jesus and will continue attending church, getting connected with other believers and instilling a strong belief in God in her children. Catherine is asking us to pray for her sister's friend, Brittany, as well, that a job will be provided to her for, for taking care of her and her daughter that it will be in a career field that she's studying and that she will be able to see the blessing and that she will find her hope and her rest in you, Lord, turn her heart to you in salvation, that she and her daughter can find a church where they feel comfortable. Lord, Catherine is also asking us to pray for a friend, Chantel, who continues to go through a court hearing of some sort. Lord, we pray that things will go as you determine, as you know is just, and that the outcome will be best best for both parties in this, Lord. We ask that you would turn Chantel's heart to you, Lord. Uh, Draw her into fellowship with your people. Draw her into a place where she is growing and she is thriving in her faith. Lord, Catherine also asks us to pray for her friend Kirk, who is hurting because of infidelity in his marriage. Lord, I know this kind of a betrayal has got to be one of the worst. And I pray that he will find Christ through this pain, that you'll use even this sour, terrible circumstance to turn his heart to you. And Lord, that he'll be able to heal from the pain and the outcome that's happened. And that you would bring restoration here, Lord. I know it's an amazing miracle anytime that you do that when there's such a betrayal. But Lord, I ask that you would do it in Jesus' name to show your glory and show your power and show your ability. Catherine is asking us to pray for her parents who are aging. She's praying for health, financial stability, that they'll be surrounded by love. And Lord, I ask that you would do that in Jesus' name, that you would care for them in their old age as their provider and as their protector. Lord, I join Catherine in praying for 
all of our coworkers and friends, that they'll be blessed with a wonderful holiday season that reminds them of Jesus, the reason for the season, the one who came to give his life. And Lord, Catherine also is just offering up a generic prayer for all Morning Mindset listeners, Lord, that our holiday seasons will be safe, that we continue to grow in our relationships with Christ, Lord. We pray that for Catherine as well. We pray that you would enable her to make time to grow in her relationship with Christ through Bible study, through attending church, through prayer, Lord, that you would guide her into the places where she can make improvements that will encourage her in her own faith, Lord. We ask you to make it possible in Jesus' name. Lord, Fran uh, had a job interview last week and is asking that we pray that she gets the job and it's an organization she's always dreamt of working for, and she thinks it would be a great opportunity, Lord. We ask you, first of all, to submit Fran's desires to yourself, enable her to come into alignment with you, that she would be able to rest in you for the outcome, to know that you're going to bring about what is the very best thing, not just in her life, but in your plan for history. Lord, guide her to a place of peace. And Lord, if it be your will to use her there, please give her delight and give her joy through that news and enable her to be the right person for the right job at this time. Lord, we have an anonymous request, someone who uh, had their exams in school this week and is asking that you would help them to pass uh, and to be able to do so according to the diligence they put into their studies. Lord, we ask also that this person would be kept safe on a trip that they're taking to Africa to see their family Amen, Jesus. Give peace and comfort as this person travels. And we ask too that you give safety, that as she goes to Africa and back, there would be no problems, no illnesses contracted, no difficulties or dangers, Lord. Do that for your sweet daughter in Jesus' name. Or Caitlin is asking us to pray regarding her uncle Kenneth's passing, which happened on the 14th of this month. Lord, we Ask for her family, especially her mother, Marilyn, to be comforted during this hard time. Around the holiday season, the loss of a family member is so difficult. We ask that you would be the God of all comfort as you call yourself in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Lord, that you would show yourself to be present and a very present help in this time of trouble. Oluchi is asking us to pray for him. It says, as a new Christian she would like, he would like prayer regarding opening his heart and fully trusting in the Lord, that he would stop doubting and feel the Holy Spirit work within him. Lord, I ask that. Oh, what a sweet prayer. What a, what a dear desire, Lord. I ask that you would bring every bit of it to fruition, that you would cause a hunger deep in the soul of this dear brother, this dear, I think it's a brother, dear brother, that Lord, you would cause uh, such desire for you that you would fulfill that desire, Lord, that you would bring about greater faith and greater strength to this new believer. Lord, our brother Watson says that after about 20 months since his wife and he got married, they are having a reception finally on Saturday. And they'll be celebrating with family, brothers, sisters from church and and friends, Lord, many who do not know Jesus, Lord. We pray for this event that you would be glorified, that you would be magnified, that people would hear the gospel message and respond in faith. Lord, we pray also regarding health of everyone who attends. Since there's still many concerns with the COVID cases in the country, Lord, we pray that peace and safety would be there and that it's a God-glorifying event right alongside Watson. We ask for those things, Lord. We pray also that Should COVID not be such a big concern, you would enable the people involved to see it that way, to see the truth of the circumstance, if that's the case, and that their hearts could be put at ease that you are handling all things well, even this virus, even the difficulties associated with it. And Watson is also asking us to pray that the weather will be good because there is an outside portion where they'll be taking pictures and there's a lot of rain predicted for Saturday. Lord, I pray that you would bring about just a perfect setting for everything they need to do. And that no matter what happens, as Watson is saying, that you will be glorified and that everyone will see that God is good. Lord Eve asks us to pray regarding her mother, age 80. Her name is Lucienne, 
who is struggling with type 2 diabetes. Lord, we pray for her health and her well-being. We ask you to bring about wisdom from those who are treating her. We ask you as the divine physician to bring healing to her body, Lord, even from diabetes, Lord. We know you can do it, and we ask you to do so in Jesus' name. Eve is asking that we would pray for her regarding her continuing to build her relationship with you, to trust in you more. Lord, she wants to be free of soul ties and dependency. That's what she describes, uh, that she can finally uh, move into a better relationship than she's had in the past and find a loving partner. Lord, I pray that you would do that in her life. You would bring her about uh, her path of growth in a way that provides healing and provides strength for her. And Lord, that her, her faith in Christ would guide her to meet and find a different kind of man who is strong in the Lord, who is dedicated to honoring you, and who would lead her well as the leader of, of their relationship, Lord, and that would guide her in her growth and help her in her, uh, her path of faith, Lord, that he would be an encouragement and a strength, not a liability, not an abuser, not a person who is there to get and not give, Lord, that you would provide exactly what she needs. Eve is also asking us to pray for health and financial stability and for inner peace in her life. Lord, we know that you would provide those things as the father, the good father of your dear daughter, Eve. Lord, please provide those things. Give her assurance that you are working for her good. She also is asking that we would pray for her son, Michael. She says he is so loving and kind. She is asking the Lord to watch over him, Lord, and that Michael would open his heart to you. And that you, he would know you deeply, Lord, and turn to you when he's in need. Lord, we join with Eve in praying for her son, that you draw him to yourself, you grant him repentance, and you give him a deep desire to trust in you and to walk alongside you. And Lord, Jamie asks us to pray for her. She feels disconnected and like she is sinking into depression. She's having a hard time finding comfort in others and even in Christ right now. Lord, we know if there's a clinical depression involved here, this could be a very daunting thing to face, Lord. We pray for Jamie right now, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would reach down and touch her. And I mean right now, Lord, as she hears these words, as I pray these words, Lord, that you would touch her body. You'd bring about any change in her physically that needs to happen to, to reverse this time of depression. But Lord, if it's not a physical thing and it's more of a mental thing where she's thinking wrong thoughts or she, she's allowing negativity into her life that should not be there, Lord, that you would enable her to see and know the truth and that as you promised, the truth would set her free. Lord, we ask that you would lift her spirits and give her a sense of, of victory in this time of difficulty. Father, we continue to pray for your will to be done in the Morning Mindset Ministry. It is a challenge some weeks to get the episodes recorded. It's a challenge some weeks to get these prayer requests done, Lord, but you always provide the strength and you always provide the means of doing so. I thank you for that. I thank you that I have breath and that I have a voice. I thank you that you've given me gifts to teach and to, to lead people in understanding your word, Lord. And I pray that you would magnify those efforts and you would magnify the power of your word in ways that only you can do that you would spread it across the globe, that you would reach into countries that we've not reached yet, and people would begin hearing your message through the morning mindset and become transformed by their faith in Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray you'd give a fresh and new unction to what's happening, that your name can be glorified by people being drawn to you, Lord. We pray also for the needs of those who have submitted requests through not a needy person, Lord, that you would provide everything that's needed in every circumstance, that you'd cause financial integrity to be the forte of the entire ministry, and that the gifts that are given are distributed with the generosity and with the sense of, of love in which they were given, Lord, that you would be made to look great, that your generosity would be highlighted and magnified through the ministry that's going on there. And Lord, like Acts chapter 4, from which we get the name, not a needy person. You would enable your people across the globe to meet each other's needs so that there is not a needy person among us. And Lord, through that, 
you would bring about great transformation to cultures, to countries, to people, to families, Lord, that you would bring about your great deliverance for your people across the globe. We ask it, we pray it, and we give you great glory for hearing us and for answering these requests, Lord. We're confident that through your Holy Spirit, you are interceding for us and you are active working on behalf of us in view of these requests. We say so. We declare it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for praying together with me. This is a powerful thing that we do, and it's an important thing that we do week to week. Thank you for being a part. Please share these prayer episodes with anyone you know who is a prayer warrior, someone who who loves prayer and wants to be active in serving the kingdom in that way. Please pass these messages along. The more of us praying, the better. Thank you, friends, for praying. If you have a request you would like to submit, or if you have a praise to any of these requests that we have prayed for, an answer to prayer perhaps that you want to share, please go to carrygreen.com at C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color, dot com slash prayer and share that request, share that answered prayer, share that praise. We would love to include it on next week's episode. Thank you so much for your time with me today. Let's walk into this day with faith that our God reigns.